okay let's start uh, by uh, start with uh, building hyperdvg from its source code for building hyperdvg we need to install uh, visual studio uh, each version of the visual studios that supports wdk wdk uh, like visual studio community which is the preferred version or if you have an enterprise license of uh, visual studio or professional it's best it with it best works uh, with the newer version of uh, visual studio as you can see that you can uh, download hyper dvg download the uh, visual studio from the microsoft website visualstudio.com another thing that is needed for uh, Building Hyper DVG is Windows SDK. Uh, it's preferred to download the latest uh, Windows SDK or, and, uh, and also download the uh, Windows uh, Driver Kit or WDK uh, for running uh, Hyper DVG. It's currently uh, tested uh, with the newest uh, available Visual Studio version. Uh, Visual Studio 2022 and uh, with uh, Windows 11 SDK it works best for now but in the future versions also the newer SDK will, will, will be supported and the newer uh, WDK. Uh, you just need to recursively uh, <laughs> use the git clone command uh, and clone everything uh, make sure to just not, not uh, just download the source code because it have uh, it has some other some external repositories uh, which you should use uh, dash dash recursive command for the git and after that you can start building the hyperdvg so i will go and as you can see let me close everything but this Okay. Oh no. Uh, after uh, building it, we will try to attach to the HyperDVG and see different operations. Uh, as you see in the previous slides, uh, we want to create a local debugging environment, or we want to also t we, we can also make a TCP connection VMI mode or we can make a uh, serial debugging but for now it's also possible to use it in my current machine i will go to the hyper which is uh, why you can also download uh, the uh, HyperDVG itself uh, the binary files of the hyper which is built by github uh, actions in the uh, repository of the HyperDVG, but it's preferred to build it by your own. So if you can, if you want to somehow change HyperDVG and your functionalities in the source code, you can also change it directly in the source code and compile your customized version. I will run it as uh, administrator and I'm using this version of uh, HyperDVG debugger for connecting uh, if you, uh, there might be uh, many error many uh, considerations before running the hyper dvg it's like uh, most of these consider considerations are explained to uh, attaching to a local machine here uh, we can uh, just type that connect local but then the, there might be errors and if you want to know how to solve these errors please uh <coughs> take a look at uh, this uh, documentation page for example hyper dvg in the current version is not compatible with vbs or uh, virtualization based security so you have to disable it before running hyper dvg because the hyper dvg itself is a hypervisor and uh the 
VBS is also a hypervisor. So this, uh, as uh, the nested uh, virtualization is not supported in Intel processors, it's supported by vendor, but not the Intel processor itself. So we are not compatible currently with uh, the VBS. So you may, you should disable it. Another thing is that you should uh, disable driver signature enforcement uh, because uh, if uh, because the hyperdivisions driver is not signed by Microsoft, uh, it, it's definitely not. Uh, Microsoft won't sign a driver that is able to modify its kernel, so. Uh, you should disable this driver signature enforcement or if you have a microsoft signature you can sign it for yourself so you are not forced to uh, disable uh, the dse feature of the windows i also explained uh, how you can check whether your computer supports hyper g or not and uh, how you can disable the driver signature enforcement uh, and uh, other thing related uh, how i can how, how you can temporarily disable the dse and how you can disable vbs or hvci different commands that are used for for it and for example currently in uh, in this machine i have uh, i have an enabled uh driver signature enforcement so definitely we're gonna see some errors when we when we are using hyper dvg but let uh, but just let me show you the errors. Uh, as you can see, that it said uh, it's not able to uh, install HyperDVG and it's because either the driver signature enforcement in air is enabled or HVCR prevents the driver from loading. Uh, and it also asks you to uh, follow the instru instructions provided here.